Welcome back to another Roblox Studio tutorial. In today's video, we're going to continue with our mining simulator game by adding a sell zone so that after the player has collected some gems, they can come over to the green pad and sell them. So let's go ahead and try it out. So when my player touches the pad, it's going to get rid of all his gems and convert it into money. All right, so let's go ahead and dive in and get started. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing we're gonna do is make a couple changes to the script that should be inside of server script service. So on this script, we have our inventory folder along with the different values for our crystals or gems. What we're gonna do this time is add a section for the leader stats and also for the money. So to set up the leader stats, we're just gonna say local leader stats is equal to instance.new and we're gonna be setting up a new folder. We're gonna set the leader stats name equal to leader stats and then we're gonna store that folder inside of the player. Okay, so the other section we need to add is this one right here. So for this one, we're going to set up an int value that we're going to use to store the player's money. To do that, we're going to say local money is equal to instance.new. This is going to be an int value. We're going to set the name equal to money inside of quotation marks. We're going to set the initial value equal to zero. And then we're going to store this value inside of the leader stats folder. Okay, so after you add those two sections, you should have a money value in the leader stats. And we can confirm that. So we have a leader stats with a money value. Next, we're going to set up our cell area. You can make this look however you want to. For now, I'm just going to keep it simple and just use a part. I went ahead and renamed that part to cell pad. After that, you're going to insert a script into that part. The first thing we're going to do in this script is we're going to create a variable for it. So we're going to say local cell pad is equal to script.parent. This next section right here is where we're going to store the prices for the different crystals or gems. To do that, you're going to start with one curly bracket. And then inside the curly brackets, you're going to store the different names of the crystals. So these need to match whatever you have on the script right here. So these values right here, they should match what you put inside of here. Okay, so we're going to put the names of all our crystals inside of quotation marks. And we're also going to put those inside of square brackets. We're going to say equal to. And the number on this side is going to be the price of the gem. After each gem that you do like this, make sure you have a comma. Since I have six different crystals or gems, I have six different values right here. And then at the end, just close it with another curly bracket. After you do that, we're going to create a function that's going to convert the gems into money. To do that, we're going to use a touch event. So whenever the player touches this green part, it's going to run this function. The first thing we're going to do inside this function is find the player that touched the part. To do that, we're going to say local player is equal to game.players. And then we're going to say find first child. We're going to say other part.parent.name to look for the player. If we're able to find the player, then what we're going to do is we're going to create a variable called amount, and we're going to start that at zero. For the next part, we're going to use a for loop to loop through the player's inventory folder to get all the crystals. To do that, we're going to say for underscore comma, and then we're going to create a temporary variable called type, and we're going to say in pairs. And this section right here is going to take the player's inventory folder and get all the items inside of it. So those will be the different crystals or gems. And what we're going to do for this for loop is we're going to set the amount, which is this variable up here, equal to the original value plus, and this part right here is how we're converting the amount of crystals into money. To do that, we're going to use the price list that we created up here. We're going to be looking inside of that list for the crystal's name. So let's say it's on the pink crystal, then it's going to look inside this list here. It's going to see the pink part right here. And what it's going to do, it's going to multiply the value for the crystal, which we set right here times the amount of crystals that we have. So if we have three pink crystals, it's going to take the value for the crystal, which is one, and multiply it by the amount that we have, which is three. So in total, that'll be one times three. So we'll get three for the money value. And then after we convert that particular crystal into money, we're going to set its value equal to zero. And then once it runs through all those different crystals and calculates the amount that we're gonna sell for, we're gonna set that as the money value. And we're gonna do that by saying player.leaderstats dot money dot value it's going to be equal to the current value so the amount of money the player currently has plus the amount that we just sold for so this value right here gets set inside of this for loop okay to make sure this function runs whenever the player touches the part we're going to say cell pad dot touch colon connect and then we're going to connect this with our function's name which is cell gems so just as a quick recap inside of this list right here we're going to set the cell values for all the different crystals and make sure the names match the names of the crystals. And then down here, this is the function that's gonna convert the crystals into money. All right, so let's go ahead and test it out, and I can show you how different parts of the script are working. 
All right, so before I sell the crystals, I'm just going to show you a couple different things. So inside the player's folder, if you open up the player, you can look inside their inventory folder, and this will store all the different crystal values. So for the black one, it has a value of two. So what it's going to do for that for loop, it's going to loop through all these different crystals. It's going to take a look at the amount of crystals you have. So for this case, we have two black crystals. So what this part right here is doing, it's taking the amount of crystals we have. So in this case, it's two. It's going to multiply that for the selling price of the crystal, which is six. So we'll get 12 for that crystal. It's going to do that for each of the other crystals. And it'll add all that money together and then give it to the player. So whenever the player touches the screen pad, it's going to do that calculation. So in this case, we sold all our crystals and we got $80 for our money. All right, so that's going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed and stay tuned for the next one.